Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to take a look at my sketching bag. And the warmer days are coming, my spring allergy time is over and field sketching is becoming an option for me again. I realized I hadn't really shared my regular sketching bag setup before, so today we're going to do just that. When I first started sketching, outdoor sketching, I used to put my sketching tools simply into whatever backpack I had with me. And I usually prefer small day packs because they're really nicer to my back. But last year I found this nice lightweight shoulder bag that's large enough to carry all my sketching gear in one place and still doesn't get too heavy. So and this has the advantage that everything is in one place now and I can simply grab the bag when I'm going out for sketching. So the bag I have here is the Jack Wolfskin Valpera Iso bag. It's really nice and spacious. It has 8 liters and uh, it's also very comfortable to carry around. So it has this nice broad shoulder belt that's very easy on the shoulders, even if you carry it for a longer time. And it also has a lot of compartments inside and also on the outside that are great for organizing uh, all of my sketching supplies. So um, the most important thing for me is that it has a lot of zippers on the outside because I tend to lose uh, my sketching tools when I run around with, with pockets or bags that don't have zippers. So this has been really essential for me to losing less tools. So let's take a look at what's inside, shall we? So on the inside it has different compartments. I'll just turn this around so you can get a better look. And we'll start with these two open compartments here. And I have my pencils and pens in this compartment and then my paint, uh, paint stuff right here and on the other side. I will uh, show you later what's in here. So let's take out these pens. I have built this small coroplast insert so that uh, it will hold my, my pencils uh, a little bit better and in a more organized way. So I usually have uh, one or two kind of pencils, a mechanical pencil and then I have this normal pencil with um, an integrated sharpener cap here, which is really practical. And I also like to carry a colored pencil that I can use for rough sketching and uh, I usually use a light color, so like this light blue here. Then on the other side here I have uh, fixed my fountain pen. This is a Lamy Safari with an EF nib with waterproof sepia ink. Uh, so I like to use waterproof inks because I can sketch on top of them with watercolors. I have another black liner. This is a Stadler pigment liner with an 0.3 um, tip. And then I have a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen with waterproof light ink. And this is great for quick value sketches and shadows. I also have a white gel pen. This is a Sakura Jelly Roll. And I also have this Pentel Brush Pen in black, which has its black waterproof ink. And I mainly use this for um, black and white ink sketches that I do from time to time. And I also keep my brushes in here. So uh, let's start with this small one. This is a Raphael Precision uh, synthetic round brush in size 1. It's not a really great synthetic brush, but um, it does the job. It, it doesn't have the greatest tip, but it's really lightweight because this part is made of wood. I rather like how it looks, even if it, it's not that great for painting. It's, it's great for gouache, but not so great for watercolor, where you want this uh, really sharp tip. Then I have a no-name flat size 8 brush. 
nothing to say about this one except maybe for the sharpened end that I, I had to cut it um, cut a little bit from the handle to make it fit inside uh, this this small board here and you can get interesting effects uh, when you use this kind of stuff on um, wet watercolor and then I also have this slightly larger dagger brush by uh, Leonard and this is a Leonard expression so I also like to use this um, instead of the flat and the round brush it it gives interesting marks and I quite like it so these are all my assorted pencils and brushes and they go uh, right back into this compartment here on the left. Also have these two small clamps that are very useful and I keep a lot more in, in this bag um, overall. They're quite useful to fix things when you're out in the field. Then let's take a look at my palette. It's in this other compartment. This is a small metal watercolor palette and I believe I've shown this before. I will do a dedicated video about this palette very soon so um, that you can see. Um, this is sort of my everyday palette. I have another one like this at home when I'm working at home and basically these are all of the colors that I need for everyday painting and sketching. And also in this compartment is a painting rag, more clamps, and let's see what else we have here. Even more clamps, as you can see. And uh, I have a little bit of washi tape for making uh, nice borders uh, in my sketchbook around um, certain, on, on certain pages I like to have these, these nice edges, particularly for landscape sketches. And then I have a magnetic uh, pen holder or can also be a brush holder so I put this down somewhere on my palette and then I can just quickly put my brush on it and it will hold so this I think this was a gift from some brush company I think is Coda and it turned out to be very practical when you add a magnet to it so magnets are a great solution for everything and another thing with magnets is this small water container let me show you. So I usually organize it like this. So when I have my palette open, I'm prepared to paint. Then I just put these things right here, fill a little bit of water into it, and then I'm ready to go. And here's my main or my bigger water container. I usually also have a water bottle with me so that I can refill these things. And sometimes I take this with me empty so that I can put the um, the waste water, the used paint water into this because I don't want to dump it uh, outside simply. And this has these velcro straps so I can fix them on um, another coroplast board that I'm going to show you right now. So here is so here's a coroplast board that I've set up so that it can hold this water container and I can fix my palette here. And I can fix my palette up here and then I can hold it like this and just put my sketchbook right here. And this is, has turned out to be very practical. It's just a little bit too big for my sketching bag so maybe I will uh, cut a little bit of it from the edge so that it will fit better with the rest of my gear. And then of course there's my sketchbook. So um, I usually have the self-made A5 sized sketchbooks with some kind of watercolor paper inside. So um, I have shown these a number of times in my other videos and um, I've even shown how, to, how you can make sketchbooks yourself. So uh, if you want to know more about how to choose your sketchbook, I've also written a few blog posts about this. I like to use these self-made sketchbooks because I can choose the paper or I can use up old paper in these and um, yeah, you don't have to make them yourself but uh, I find it really practical and flexible this way. And let's see what else is in here. We also 
We already talked about this water bottle here. I have another painting rag here. Then a few paper towels. Then I have a small aid kit here. So uh, when I'm not near my uh, home in the immediate um, vicinity, then I take this with me. Uh, I also have a little bit of um, medication, allergy medication and stuff like that in here. And it's always a good decision to, to bring these kind of things when you're out hiking or sketching. Then let's take a look at this small zipper compartment here. More clamps. I probably don't need all of these. And um, more first aid stuff. And a viewfinder and a value finder. So this can be a great tool to find a particular view that you want to sketch, particularly uh, for landscapes. And since it's green, it's also a great tool for making sense of the values that you see. So you can look through this and then uh, immediately get a better judgment of the, the values that you can see in the landscape. So I also carry this around. Okay, let's see if there's anything else in these outer compartments. I don't use them as much. There's nothing in here. Um, this compartment has a sort of a key ring here, which can be practical for uh, fixing things like a phone. So I usually carry my, my smartphone in here too, um, but it's currently filming this video, so I can't show you. And let's see on this side, yes, we have more paper towels and an FFP2 mask for pandemic stuff. Maybe for this one or for the next one. And that's basically everything in my sketching bag. Let's put the sketchbook back in. close it up and that's the whole thing so let me know in the comments if you take your sketching kit outside if you do a lot of outdoor sketching and uh, yeah let me know what your sketching bag looks like and what kind of bag you use uh, let's share experiences I'm really curious because I know a lot of people always search for um, yeah, the optimal gear and the optimal bags. So I'm, I'm really curious to hear from you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, feel free to comment, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye.